okay now by default if you're going to write any of the uh, any of the text then all the text is defaultly left aligned means because we are going to write the text from le um, left to right this is for left align but in future suppose you are doing some arabic text suppose you are writing the code which is support the arabic language then in that case all the text will be right to left aligned okay that i will discuss later how you can go and send the position position of a html means now you can see that due to we people are left to right aligned we are displaying all the text from left to right but whereas suppose you are developing an application that application application support multiple languages and multiple culture means suppose you are developing an application that application also run in us as well as run in suppose uh, arabic means um, uae or uh, other gulf country they are using the arabic script right all the arabic script are the right aligned means they are starting from right to left but for us it's left to right due to that all the text are aligned based on the culture okay for our culture it's left to right by default the direction will be left to right if you mention the text align left to right or don't mention it will always be left to right okay but just imagine you, you have to check this this area here you can see all the text are equal aligned equal align means what is the minimum equal align you can see all the last text last character is end in same line right this is called a justify justify means what whatever text you are going to write inside you are going to write if you mark the text align is justify what will happen it will create a justify line for each and every line means if there is breakpoint automatically the justify will create a same line structure for both that all the text how you can do that you can see that this is my div this is my div one of the div inside the div i have created instead of we have is border border one px solid black okay instead of we discuss about border okay forget about the padding and height i will discuss later then i have written text align justify text align justify means what it will do it will automatically convert all these text inside this div to justify let me change instead of justify let me write a left what will happen if i refresh you can see that all the text tends to left align if i write if i text right right align what will happen all the text will be right aligned you can see all the text are li rightly aligned if i am going to write center then what will happen all the text will be center aligned you can see all the text are starting from center okay the same way if you don't uh, if you don't specify text line it will be left and right. suppose you want to write a text that will be going to cover entire thing for that you have to write justify okay this is the use of justify justify only use when you're going to write a text suppose you want to write some paragraph and you want to make sure that all the paragraph text should be well aligned suppose you want to make any longer text to well aligned that time only you have to use the concept of text align justify okay that is the use of text align justify then what we learn we have learned each and every text just a second let me draw something for you means in a container container means in an area just a second. in an area whenever you are writing a text whenever you are writing a text any text okay you are writing any text just a second. You are writing any text this text either left align either central align either right align or it should be justify align justify align means it will going to cover the entire area okay left align will start from left only central align all the data should start from center only right means all the data would, should end in right only justify means all the data will going to capture this area this is called justify based on your uses you are going to use in which case what are you are going to use okay but but always remember as per your browser direction our browser is left to right if you don't specify any text alignment what will happen always the text alignment will be left to right okay this is the basic principle of text one okay clear one one uh, first one we read about color next we read about the uh, the position of uh, the alignment of a text let's go and discuss about next one called text decoration 
okay for a text decoration let me open text decoration example you can see the text decoration you seeing this all these things you can able to know that what is text decoration text decoration means how we are going to use different different text decoration like overline you want to add some line in over to the text is overline strike through you want to add some like you know in microsoft word you have a strike through inside a text how you are going to do that it's called strike through then underline it means you are going to add some underline to a text then it will be both underline and overline to a text okay then we'll learn how we can uh, go about learn all these things how to make a text on, on like underline overline strike through all these things let me go discuss you can see in my code i have different uh, different different uh, type of text here let me go in h1 i want to apply the text decoration overline mean the same way you are setting text align equal to center suppose you want to apply some text decoration it, this is called decor de decoration now what will do you write the syntax called text hyphen decoration overline means this is going to set the overline text of the particular text then same way you want to set the strike through or line through then you have to write text decoration line through what it does it will give a, a line in between a text okay you can see all the text there is a in middle of the text it is giving a line it's called called line through next one is s3 suppose s3 mean this one i have applied the text across an underline if you are going to apply the text across an underline what will happen it will give the underline text here okay and suppose i want to apply both underline and overline then what will do text decoration overline and underline it is going to apply both overline and underline this is the use of like the different different text decoration clear you have to all remember all this thing there is no trick on this you have to remember in which area which syntax you have to know for that reason only you have to achieve all these things you have to remember the syntax there is no way to you have to only know okay for text, text decoration this is the syntax but to which place what you want to use you have to remember all these things okay let's go for the next one call as text transform okay for your text transform let me open you will see that okay text transform means how we are going to transform the text what is transform the text let me give an example suppose i am writing html it's a capital right now i'm writing html it's a small then i'm writing capital html it's a capitalized okay it's called uppercase it's uppercase all of you know right it's lowercase and it's a capitalized or camel case ML case or capitalized. Like all the all the text should be uppercase, then you have to know uppercase. All the text will be lowercase, will be lowercase. And if first one is the capital and rest rest are small and then capital they are small, we can call as sorry, this call Pascal case. Sorry. Pascal case or capitalized. Pascal case forgot this is a programming one. Just you have to remember it's capitalized. Okay. These are three text transformation we can do in HTML. Okay, why is it required? Because some of the time you want to display data in uppercase, lowercase, or capitalized. How you can using in the how you can do the CSS using the uh, different different text transformation? Just example, I have added three paragraph, and each and every paragraph I have added some text, and there is a class I have ap applied here. Okay, let me go and add one by one class. Suppose this is one of the class where I'm written, uh, written like text hyphen transform equal to uppercase, colon uppercase means if you're going to use text hyphen transform attribute for CSS, it will going to give you the transformation of a text. There are three property in uh, tra transformation, one is uppercase, lowercase, capitalized. If you have been capitalized, you can see all the first letter after space is a capital, right? But in lowercase, all the text, whatever you are going to write, it will be lowercase, uppercase, it will be always be lower. In the case of uppercase, in all the case, it will be going to be upper. Let me show you. Just imagine, this is the 
upper case you can see that i have written this is suppose let me change this text all are lower case right these and text all are lower case let me save and refresh you can see instead of writing this all are in lower case whereas this is all are transformed to upper case the same way let me write this as a capital capital this okay not all happen if i refresh you can see it's even you return this is capital but here it's converting to lower only okay and capitalized if i going to write this one is small or capital anything then what will happen the first character of a word it's going to be capitalized after space this is the use of text capitalized okay always remember if you don't apply anything so don't apply in the sense just imagine here this is that i have never applied any any transformation right if you don't apply any transformation what will happen whatever you are going to return here it may be capital or lower or anything that will going to display as it is there is no change on text transform but if you are going to apply any kind of transformation like upper lower and capital is going to be behave based on the text transformation whatever you going provided okay this is the use of text transformation i think this is going to help you when writing a different different program when getting the data from suppose api and display the data in lower format upper format camel case or whatever format then you have to use this transformation okay this is the use of text transformation let's go and the final one we have to learn about text space uh, spacing okay let me show you one by one text spacing okay this is you have to learn all these things there is a lot of thing in uh, text spacing okay as you know in word you, you know you have to in microsoft word you are starting you are giving some padding in let first uh, suppose you are writing some paragraph and first paragraph you want to give some intent intent here you have to give some intent here that you can giving in uh, microsoft word but same thing suppose you want to do in html how you can achieve that means to set an intent intent means it will give some intention from the first character of the uh, any anything whatever uh, the you are entering some text the first character it's giving some intent giving some space to uh, from the uh, the left hand side okay that we call text intent if you are going to set any text intent then what will do to do you have to write suppose just imagine this is my paragraph okay I means this is a text this is my paragraph here i have added one any text and i will use a class called intent the intent what will do i have defined the intent then text hyphen intent please note all these things text hyphen intent equal to 50 pixel means what will does it will give you 50 pixel intent from left hand side if i going to increase to 100 pixel 100 pixel save it what will happen it will give you more space here okay it is based on your requirement you are going to send you're going to set then what is the size of a intent based on your requirement this is the purely its designing purpose but you have to know that how you are going to set the intent of a text okay this is intent then then we are going to clear about the intent right next we'll go for spacing what is spacing okay you can let me increase all the text you can see uh, this text lorem if some is simple dump, uh, dummy text or all, all the text right there is a there is you just imagine the uh, distance between one character to another character okay distance between one character to another character we call as a spacing letter spacing okay means how you can to add the space between one character to another character okay that is called the spacing okay for that what will do just imagine i have a two h1 i have defined one is i have written this is a heading one and this is a heading two and i am going to add two uh, space in there okay for that i have defined a class space plus space minus here you can see space plus class i have written letter spacing 5 pixel what will be given it will give you space between one to another character 5 okay this is the if you don't specify based on the browser spacing it's going to work you can see all these things default spacing but in some of the cases 
if you want to add the space between two character or two or the two character in a letter what will do you have to give spacing inside a one and each character for that you have to write letter spacing five pixel what will do it will does it will give the five pixel between these different different character okay let me change to suppose 10 pixel what will happen you can see all the distance between one and one character is 10 pixel distance the same way i am doing the reverse reverse means what the the next one i am giving the minus one here you can see i am giving 10 blocks because it's going for positive the same way i want to reduce the size of this space means what is the space between these two i want to reduce to any any of the whatever the uses for me let's suppose here suppose in this case we have 10 pixel given the distance so i want to give the minus 10 pixel to give the distance what will happen in this case you can see i given letter spacing same letter spacing instead of positive i am giving the negative in the minus 2 pixel what will happen it will give the minus it will it, it will club the all the characters right you can see the spacing between each and a character is reduced by minus 2 pixel let me change to minus 5 pixel you can see that you can see all the things are getting clumped right that is the use of letter spacing you can give either positive you can give either negative it's up to you how you are going to define okay if you don't give any letter spacing and define uh, letter spacing in a uh, text what will what will happen browser will give you this there are whatever default uh, spacing is defined by browser it's going to give you okay like this one we did not give any spacing on that it is giving a basic spacing for us but if you want to internationally want to give the space between the each and every character of a word or anything then you have to use the class called letter spacing you have to either give positive and give negative if you give positive it will give the distance if you give the negative it will close the distance this is the letter spacing okay now uh, you got it right what is intent and what is space uh, like what is spacing let me go and discuss about different question called line height okay what is line height i'll show you you can see the text here just a second you can see this is a text right and this is the same line this is a another text this one now you can see there is a gap between these two right this is some gap between this two or top line down line and this bottom line top medium and bottom line now this is this gap is a default gap okay defined by the browser now some of the uh, cases you want to increase this gap between this text this first line and second line third line and you have to decrease the space between all this line of text then how you can do this line spacing between one by one line for that reason there is a concept called line height what is line height you have to you have to display you have to specify the height between one line and another, another line okay for that just imagine using line height um, i have uh, this uh, two text is here one is uh, one and is two let me decide how you can going to increase and decrease the line height okay to increase and decrease the line height we have a um, uh, like a syntax called line hyphen height then i am giving 0 0.7 pixel okay if you don't give any unit then you treat as a pixel always remember i told pixel is a default unit for a browser if you don't give any unit to a like height or spacing to treat as a default as px if you give px is okay if you don't give it to treat as a pixel okay what I given here? I have given line height 0 0.07 means I am decreasing the height. Suppose I let me decrease to 3. A refresh, you can see that they are totally overlap between one line to another line. Right? This is the concept of line height. It means height between two lines. Okay. If I going to increase suppose um, 8, it is going to give a line between these two same way if you want to increase more then what will do you can add a number of 1.8 based on your based on your requirement you can add the number here then it will going to increase or decrease based on your requirement okay but by default browser giving the normal height between one one line to another line okay this is 
the use of line height then what you already got it right spacing and height spacing means the individual character space line height means the one line to another line space this is called line height okay then go and discuss about word spacing okay what is word spacing You want to display initially I'll talk about this one this is the called letter spacing means each and every character or a character or letter you want to space right this is called letter spacing but whereas same concept you want to differentiate between these two word so you want to specify the space between two word then you have to use the syntax called word spacing for character spacing you have to use letter spacing if you want to do the word spacing, you have to use the syntax called word hyphen spacing. Okay. Whatever word, just imagine this is a word spacing I have given 10 pixel. If I go into uh, 15 pixel, if I refresh, you can see that distance between one word to another word is 15 pixel difference. Okay. This is called word spacing. The same way, now you can see that I want to clump all the things then word spacing minus two pixel. What will happen? It will be reduced by each and every, each and every correct uh, word is uh, reduced by space minus two pixel. Okay. All the spacing, all, all the things will be positive or negative. Based on your requirement, you are going to do that. But always remember, word spacing is going to uh, divide between two words, whereas letter spacing is going to give the space between each and every character or any letter. The line height means it's going to give the distance between one line to another line. It's called line height. Then go the final one called white space. <clears throat> what is white space? Just imagine you are writing this text. Okay, you can see my text is too long. Okay, then what will what will actually happening? If if there is some space what happened automatically getting wrapped okay browser you can see it here after some specific spacing based on the browser after the text is reached to the browser end automatically getting down this is the default behavior of a text but i don't want to uh, i don't want to wrap the text when the there is a main, suppose i have long text and i don't want to wrap the text but here you can see the concept is if whatever text I have written here, if it going to touch the left hand side of the browser, means the border of the browser, then automatically getting a new line. Okay. But this is the default behavior of a text. But you suppose you don't want to wrap the text when it is reached to the end. In that time, what you'll do, you have to use the white space. White space equal to no wrap. No wrap means you don't want to be wrap the text wrap means new line always remember wrap means new line you don't want to wrap the text then you have to use white space colon row wrap suppose you want to wrap you know, write simple wrap wrap e wrap no no if you don't specify you have a uh, like white space at no wrap means it's going to be no wrap the white space means any places all the places will there if you're going to remove all these things, it will be going to behave as simple text. You can see automatically in the new line is getting big, giving the one on new wrap. Okay. So you want to don't want the wrap, then you have to use white space, no wrap. And it not, it's not going to wrap means it's not going to give a new line. It's a straight line only. This is the use of different different concept of text spacing. Okay. So what we learn today? We we'll learn alignment decoration spacing transformation and color okay this is what we learn next go and learn about margin and padding initial days we have discussed when you started the uh, css we have discussed like uh, margin and padding you all know that left hand side left margin top margin right margin bottom margin same way left padding right padding all these things let's we go and discuss this margin and padding in html okay let me go for uh, margin. Okay, let's start from margin. Okay. 
this is a margin to set a margin to any of the element then you have to use the concept called margin okay okay you know i have discussed what we discuss initially let me uh, suppose this is my browser inside the browser i have a two div let's imagine i have two div and uh, uh, this one the left one a margin this is the top margin this is the right margin this is the bottom margin why bottom margin talking about suppose here suppose i have another uh, um, div this is the bottom margin always remember and thus if the content whatever content we have this content left is padding top padding uh, right padding and bottom padding this is the concept right means outer scope is the margin inner scope is the padding the same way suppose uh, you want to set the margin of a, a anything margin of a div and all these things how you can going to set that okay let me do one thing let me okay you can see i have no this is a div i have no margin at all suppose i want to set the left margin i want to set the left margin what are you going to write i write margin left okay. just imagine margin left so margin left i want to put 50 pixel refresh you can see it's giving 50 pixel from left same way i want to give margin right how much i want to give the 50 pixel only you can see it's giving 50 pixel from right the same way i want to give 50 pixel from top then margin top 50 pixel It's giving 50 pixel from top, right? The same way I want to set the margin bottom. And what will happen? It will give 50 pixel from bottom. You got it? If you have to set left, top, left, right, top, bottom, you have to use this margin left, right, all these things. But this is used when suppose in specific region, suppose you want to only set the left hand side margin, that time you have to only use margin left, margin based on your requirement you have to set just imagine you want to set this entire syntax only single line instead of you learn about the border right how you're going to set the means short and short and tag means these are the individual tag margin left right bottom top all the individual tag but suppose you want to set the single line tag right suppose single line tag means in single line you are going to disc, uh, define top left bottom or uh, like and right all these things you are going to decide how you want to do that you have to remember all these things let me remove the first one margin the first argument there are four argument right because we have left right top and bottom right the same way the margin accepting four let me do guys the first one the first argument this one is the top I mean this is the top one okay then this one this one is the right is written here it's the right this third one is the bottom okay this one and this last one is the left always remember it will start from this way how the calculation work if you are going to use a short and short and uh, margin or padding always remember it will start from this way sorry my drawing is bad okay first start from top then right then bottom then left don't start from it will not start from left or the top right bottom and left that's i'm that, that that's the same thing i'm written here 25 will be the top margin top margin 50 will be the right margin 75 will be the bottom margin 100 will be the left margin you got it always remember when you are using the margin 
you have to remember you have to understand this four argument but understanding the four argument why four argument because we have left bottom top and right right but we have to know that the sequence of uh, all the things it is not going to start from left it's always going to start from the top then top then right then bottom then left due to that this first one is the top this one is the right bottom and this is the left got it this is the use of a margin it's up to you how you are going to use it based on your requirement this is the short hand this is the individual if you are going to write this one this is okay if you are going to write this one also this is okay but how you are going to write all this four syntax instead of writing this four syntax you can write the simple syntax okay but now i am going to say one thing you already applied this one now okay you don't want to change this one okay now i just want to change the left left margin to i want to reduce the left margin or i want to increase the left margin margin always remember the execution going to happen top to bottom bottom always remember this is the basic of a compilation of, of all the languages all the languages most of the languages the top to bottom compilation happening okay we have written margin 25 uh, top top right uh, left um, bottom and left now suppose i want to change the bottom so i want to change the left if i going to write here margin and left suppose 50 pixel is not going to work why it's not going to work because after this line this was written okay due to that this one is overrided by this syntax but if you're going to write this one down to this okay down to this then what will happen if you refresh you can see the margin of a left reduced by 50 okay means what i'm trying to say to here if some of the cases if you are using this kind of css and you want to override the css in your class later i'll going to learn how you can override your class all these things and if you are going to override the class in that case if you are going to write whatever the last css you are going to retain this is going to maintain in the only means this is going to ignore it you can see that is not ignoring all the things it's only ignoring the right hand part because you are writing after the margin you are writing the margin left the same way you have override the top then you just simple write override top bottom and and left and right up to you are going to write this is the sequence of calling but always remember up to you where you want to use this margin short and syntax or this single syntax it's depend upon the requirement okay if there is no hard and fast like oh, you have to use all these things you have to all, uh, use all these things but always recommended if you are going to use this one it should be better because you are already going to define all the uh, like um, pixel everything in single line but always remember it is based on the requirement you have to do all these things okay this is called margin margin means it is going to give the distance between the left to top and bottom and down to the outer side we'll go and discuss about padding what is the concept of padding let's go and discuss about padding first okay already know as i discuss we have to know the padding concept padding means the, the inner space right i'll go and show you padding you can see same one this is the same one this is the outer space you can see this is the padding called inner space to set a padding okay we have a the same as the margin top margin right margin bottom margin left same way instead of a margin we have a padding top padding right padding bottom padding left means if you are going to use the padding top what will happen this is a div right inside div i have a text right it will give if i right click and inspect okay you can see if i mouse over you can see the the green space right the green space is the padding and the content inside that this is called a concept of padding to use a padding left and right the same as a margin you have to just instead of a margin you have to use padding all the padding top right bottom all these things you have to use that one suppose instead of doing all these things suppose you want to design the short short hand I mean, suppose you want to use the short hand syntax then you have to go for padding one as i discuss it's always start from top right so the top should be 50 pixel let me apply top will be 50 pixel then right right will be 30 pixel then bottom bottom will be 50 pixel then um, left left will be 80 pixel 
Okay. See that? All of them fine. Means you can use individual syntax. Otherwise, you can go for a shorthand syntax. In shorthand syntax, is required four argument. First one is the top, left, top, right, uh, bottom, and left. As we discuss here, all things will going from this way. Always remember, guys. This is the basic things you have to know. This is called the padding. Okay. What I discuss like padding and the margin. Uh, margin means the outer space. All these are margins. Okay. And these are the paddings. This up. These are the paddings. These are the margins. We discuss in two example. What is a margin? What is a padding? Right. These are the two things. These are the basic concept you have to know in CSS. What is padding and margin? Without without padding and margin. How can go and write the program, right? This is the basic one you have to understand. Then we have uh, clear about the padding and margin. Okay, let's go and uh, we have to discuss about the cursor. Okay, we'll go link last because link will take a little bit more time. So we don't have time today. We'll go for cursor. Okay, what is cursor? You can see that you can see my pointer, right? Mouse pointer. It's displaying a arrow symbol. Okay, but whereas if i select this one you can see if i go to if i mouse over this one to any of the text the color of that's let me increase if i mouse over any of the text you can see instead of the arrow it's displaying some editable i symbol right the symbol these are the basic functionality of a cursor but whereas in some of the scenario you want to change the pointer you want to change the pointer array okay that how we are going to change this cursor pointer for that we have n number of a cursor you can change there is a predefined n number of cursor you can change let me show you uh, cursor okay i have opened these are the different different cursor what is lot of cursor here okay first one is auto auto means if i go mouse over there it's auto S second one is cross here if I go, you can see the mouse is changed like suppose selection tool. You know, in suppose you're drawing something like this. Suppose you're drawing something square or something. You can see you're getting some square box, right? The same way is giving a crosshair. Okay. The same one, default, default means the pointer one. E resize, you can see the resize icon is coming. And if I go, you can see help icon coming and move N resize and uh, you can see different different kind of suppose um, you can see the different different top button and this little bit curve and right curve this pointer progress re s resize all these things the text resize weight you can see these are different different cursor are there okay you can use but by default you know whenever you go for a um, go for a link okay when you go for a link you can use a hand symbol okay then i will discuss how you can do that to enable a cursor, simple one, I am written, you have a uh, um, class, you have a CSS called cursor. Cursor, you have to write the auto. Auto means by default, whatever is going to work, it is going to work. There is a different, different suppose you want to use um, crosshair, crosshair, end default, help, move, all these things will be there. Let's imagine, if I go to mouse over this cursor, this property will, this cursor property, it will show me the hand symbol, okay? You go to the hand symbol. I am going to do that. I will go and write the style cursor equal to pointer. You can see with a mouse over here, you can see my hand is displaying uh, this cursor changed to a hand symbol. Okay. This one is used in a link. By default, in a link, the cursor will change to hand symbol. But suppose you want to change the cursor also, you can use the cursor one. And you can change it. It's up to you how we're going to change the cursor. Okay. These are the different predefined cursor is given in the HTML based on a requirement you are going to use, but the browser is going to behave based on the requirement. What is based on the requirement? Just imagine. Due to these are the text, my by default displaying text selection. But if I navigate to one of the link, if I navigate to one of the link. Then you can see automatically the cursor changes to uh, all this hand symbol, which is the default behavior of a um, browser. But whereas in some of the cases, suppose you want to explicitly want to change 
the cursor arrow or cursor like the pointer based on requirement then you have to use the concept of cursor cursor attribute okay in style you have to cursor attribute if you are using cursor attribute based on a requirement we are going to set different different cursor but just imagine mostly you are using the pointer and the normal and weight symbol and help symbol it's up to you how we are going to set it but these are the different different cursor based on a requirement we are going to use it okay this is the requirement uh, this is all about the cursor and uh, uh, tomorrow class we are going to uh, read about link and because we have time right let me complete the link first okay what is link okay link means you all knows the the initially we read like in html we uh, talk about the hyper the anchor tag right anchor tag we call as a link but the question is here Suppose, just imagine when you mouse over this text, you can see when you mouse over this text, these are the different, different links, right? The mouse over the text, uh, mouse over this link, the text color is getting changed, right? This text color is getting changed. Now, how we can go and customize a text color of a link, okay? For that, go and study about the link first. Let me open a link, link example. This is a link. Okay, by default, just for example, I am adding one link. A, you know, the adding a link, you have a href, and you have to go add suppose abc.com, then you have to add a link. Suppose abc. A refresh. You can see here this case. We can see the by default is displaying this color. Why this color is displaying by default? Because browser is defined the default color of a link. Means by default it looks like a blue color, right? It's a blue color. By default, when you click on if you design any link, anchor tag, it will display as a by default a link. But you want to change this color to any other color. Then how you want to change it? That will understand the concept of a link. Okay. First, understand the concept of link. You can see, I am. This is a link, right? I am going to top up a link. It means I am mouse mouse over to a link. Okay. What will happen? I will press it. I will press it, but not release the press. It means it's active stage. Okay. Let me explain one by one. One is mouse over. One is default. Default is a default. Then one one is a mouse over. One is active. One is up visited visited means after you click this is called a visited okay the same way any link okay any link define a different different type of uh, classes is there okay means you have to understand all these things this is my anchor tag and what i did anchor tag contain different different type of attribute what is attribute you already discussed in that uh, in that class all the attribute same way in uh, anchor we have mostly four attributes there one is link one is visited one is hover one is active today i'm going to only discuss on hover today actually i'm going to give an example hover means hover means when you are going to over hover the mouse in top of the text you can see if i go one mouse over the text mouse over any of the link the color getting changed for that what are you going to write a colon hover it's a predefined one means whenever you go and mouse over any of the link what you want to do what suppose i want to change the color to red and um, uh, text decoration non means you can see when i mouse over this link i want to set the color to this and i want to remove the underline what will do a colon hover means when i am doing a hover one means i am doing a event hover what i want to do i want to set the color to hot pink and text decoration to none then then i'll remove the underline what will happen this is the concept of hover this is the anchor hover always remember this colon this colon this is the element's name and this is the event name these all are the events name events means 
you are clicking, you are activating, it is a different, different type of property of an anchor. Okay. In tomorrow class, I will going to explain each and everything because it will take much more time to explain each and every one syntax, how it work. But for, for today, just remember, this is the element name, this is the element attribute and separation by a column. Okay. Suppose means, hover means when you over a mouse to a link. This is called anchor hover. Okay. What you want to do? You want to set your property based on your requirement. This is all about our anchor. Tomorrow, go and in depth learn about this link, visited, active, all this thing. I'll show the example of each and everyone. Then we'll learn about other things. Okay. This is all about our today's session. Anyone, any question, guys? Sir, can you please share WhatsApp group link? Okay, okay, okay. Just a second. Just a second. I'm going to share the today's all these things and um, I'll plan to share the this video also but no, today I'll going to share the this one first I'll going to share this um, today whatever you did right the folder I'm going to share you have to start and guys just start, start to write the code because um, I think you have started a lot you have learned a lot of things that trying to start the different different you have to use different different structure right like how the anchor because you have to write the syntax with the writing syntax how you going to know that right you have to go and write different different syntax like how anchor tag work how to design a table row column span all these things you have to know then we have to go to discuss later all these things anyone any question and guys if you have anything you want to ask any question and all these things you can ask me in that chat i i'll reply maybe not going to reply the same time but anyhow i'll, I'll going to reply in the same day Thank you.